Hello, tubers. Today I'll bring you the Fox Edition Tracks of Slash. It's going to be a bit of a small review. We're going to see how she handles. I've had a couple of batteries already. Um, I'm really impressed with it so far. It's stood up to everything I give it. The body tent seems to be a lot better than most of the Traxxas bodies. I have cartwheeled this thing and I can't find a crack in it yet. I forgot to put um, no, it's a little bit of rubbing on the tyres. Um, I've got to put the body savers on, I'm going to get them on next time. Um, let's see some drifting and some donuts. As you can see too, this is great fun. On this sort of terrain, you don't need a lot of throttle because you've got no grip. Give her the donut. Oh, over we go. Right, let's give it a bit of a J-turn. Oh, forget the can't go through. That's the thing with these, you can't go through forwards to reverse. You can't go forwards to reverse them. So, let's see if we can pull one out the guard. Yes, we've got the J-turn in. Right tubers, I've just put it in training mode because we're going to hit up a, quite a compact area in a second so I don't need all that power. Well, I thought it was training mode. Look at that. That has still got some guts. I can use more of that trigger than I thought it oh, Yes, save. Right tubers, this is going to be our first time, might have, let Harry have a little go. As you can see the terrain here is a lot rougher, there's some steep banks, we'll pan it round a little bit to the left of the steeper section. Let's see how the uh, slash handles it on this section. I have to say, I think this has just failed because the throttle's staying on. So that's a good review. I was already a bit pessimistic about this speed controller as it was because, because when um, I get low voltage detection on this on both battery runs, it's the you can't switch the speed controller off. You have to disconnect the battery. Now I've read online in a couple of places that this is tracks of standards because they want to force you to remove the battery connection so you don't continue to run down your um, leak lipo batteries. But with that now sticking with the throttle on, I genuinely do think or that some uh, of those uh, ESCs, tracks is well known for not being the best when it comes to ESCs, so we're gonna monitor that. I might just stick it back on the full mode and just use quarter throttle around here. Back in a moment, tubers. Right then, tubers, I, um, 
I tried recalibrating the controller because maybe that's what the problem was. Um, it didn't do it in full mode, but like I said previously, there's definitely, I'm not convinced that you shouldn't be able to power off your ESC from low voltage detection. So I'm going to speak with the model shops because they're the guys that know about this more than we do. So if you come across anything or come across anything like that, let us know below. Um, I still like it, but it's made me a little bit weary. And I've always known Traxxas ESCs are fantastic. Anyway, let's get back and start ripping this place up. Right, and tubers, as you can see, the track down to the little jump is quite bumpy. So, this will test its handling. Let's have a look. Oh, that's my fault. I angled that completely wrong. But yeah, that weren't bad. And in the same perspective. So, this is more down to my ability at the moment. Let's see if we can do it so we can bring it up. So the tyres plenty of grip. There we go. This is going to test its ground clearance. Yeah, ain't bad. Again, I've still only got this in training mode. Just off camera at the moment. just there how does it beautifully let's have another look from the other angle as you can see tubes that section we've just been over how rutted it is right. that's not bad considering it's low ground clearance right let's have a look again testing its tired grip can we get it up there yes that's quite steep steeper than you think I mean, yeah, sure. Anything can go up, anything when it's being launched at. But let's give it the slow mo up there. And she still makes it. Remember, tubers, this is only in training mode. <laughs> what do you think? This or the stampede? Stampede's good. I knew you'd say stampede. Well, there we are, tubers. I'm going to go and grab the controllers off him. Let's get in the shade so you can hopefully see me better. As you can see, it is a great hit. He loves it. Oh, I love it. It's a great bit of kit. There is that teething problem there in the middle of the ESC. I've not noticed that on the X-Max or the uh, Stampede when I've gone from different modes. And I will query that because, like I say, I'm already not buying the ability not to switch off the ESC. It's forcing you to pull the um, Lipo plug. Is it? Come on. Let me know in the comments below whether you've experienced anything Too like much. that. This is the uh, low voltage detection, what we're on about. Now, I haven't unplugged all this yet. Let's get this body off. Get the back car clips off, mate. Right. It's going to be in red mode now, I presume. Yeah, it's flashing red. Um, mind you, it's flashing. Oh, that is hot there. We can't turn it off. See? Is this normal? I don't think it is because my Stampede, or Harry Stampede doesn't do this. My X Max doesn't do this. The T Max definitely doesn't do it. Look at that. Try it again. Nothing. I don't think this is normal. Let me know. Right, in tubers. My overall experience, considering this has only been uh, my third or fourth battery perhaps, 
very impressed. It's another great bit of kit from Traxxas. Are there things I would improve? No, out of the box, I think on the whole, it's a very good bit of kit. Just the ESC seems to be a little bit concerning and that teething problem earlier in the video. Otherwise, I am gonna give this a full rating of seven out of 10. Now that sounds tight, why haven't I given it the 10 out of 10? Well, you've got to remember it's a lot of money. For 400 pounds, you could probably buy something like an armor, which is gonna be cheaper and just as fun and just as durable, I expect. So I think seven out of 10 is fair because there's possibly better out there for less money. Anyway, the tires were great, no problems. Plenty of power, training mode. I was surprised how much power. It bloody brilliant in training mode and you're getting twice the battery length in training mode as well remember so there's some great pros and cons to anyway thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe here and watch our videos to there two bags all right